My name is Laura Jordan Bambach. I am president of DNAD. Uh, I'm also a creative partner at Mr. President, which is an agency based in Soho in London. I'm a co founder of She Says and also co founder of Cunt Festival. I had, uh, I guess, a very unconventional start in the industry. I had studied fine arts um, uh, for quite a long time, actually. I sort of did a bachelor and a master's degree, what have you. And some, all of my inspiration still comes from the places that I used to look to uh, as an artist. So um, music is a very big one. I spend um, I spend a lot of time listening to music. I would say I'm sort of a bit of an obsessive fan, um, and I get a lot of inspiration from lyrics, uh, like interesting sort of mixes of different different sounds, and just the experiences of the, of the artists and exploring more into them. And their lives. Um, similarly, fine art, I get a lot of um, a lot of inspiration from. But probably where I get the most inspiration from is sort of my day to day trying to do, trying to do something different day to day. So every day, you know, you walk a different way to work, or you um, you read something new, or you sort of go on a little bit of a, a wander of, on the internet, and you see where it finds you, and sort of collect uh, as much interesting stuff as possible, you know, you read a book or you, um, I don't know, you know, listen to an, an interesting story, uh, or you meet an interesting person and you sit and you have a conversation with them and a lot of the, the inspiration that I get and the ideas that I get come from sort of connecting those things with, with other stuff that might be a bit more structured. When I've had an idea, so I carry a book with me everywhere, um, a sketchbook, I write everything down in there because uh, even if it's an idea that doesn't feel like it comes to much, um, you can always sort of go back to it or use it as a basis for, for something else. So, um, so my, my sketchbook comes with me everywhere that I go. Uh, when I have an idea that feels like it's a knob of something really exciting, you can kind of feel it because you feel all tingly and there's no other way to, to describe it. You kind of just know when something's really exciting. You know, you don't, you can't let go of it. You have to throw yourself into it and you have to work on it and you um, kind of feel compelled to start working on it so that's when you sort of know you've got something really great and if an idea that you have doesn't grab you like that then you know you know you can get you can have competent ideas that way but they're not going to be the, the ones that move you are always the ones that end up being the best um, so once you've got something like that it's just a matter of like you, you kind of you live and breathe it so I'm working on something at the moment and I've done so many iterations of it with, with sort of one of the teams here because I'm just absolutely determined that it has to work and that means it has to be a brilliant idea, it needs to address everything that the brand that we're working on you know, needs to address, there can't be any kind of room for manoeuvre, what it said has to be really crystal clear, um, all the different components have to be really exact because, um, because to do really interesting new challenging ideas means that you have to give the client a lot of confidence that you can deliver and so you know working stuff up really really well is, is super important so so as I was saying that you know we've done rounds and rounds and like little bits fall into place and then as I was talking about inspiration what inspires me you know those little connections start to happen so you know I was reading something on the weekend which ended up being the final piece of the puzzle and this idea so we've just rewritten it again now and I'm going to sort of take it back and sort of work on it um, so an, an example of that uh, that process, I guess, is the work that we've done for Bacardi, a piece of work we did called Bat Beats. Bat Beats started as an idea on a wall that we thought was really exciting um, about translating the movement of bats live into to music for Bacardi. And it came from a brief that they'd given us about sort of what we could do to use their brand element of the bat in more interesting ways and sort of behave untamably um, around their, their sort of brand uh, emblem, I guess. Uh, but it started off as a completely sort of different idea. It started off much more technical. It started off sort of much bigger. Uh, then it moved into sort of an event. We found, you know, we were exploring where we could do this and there was a really beautiful piece of kismet around uh, one of the biggest migrations about to being in Austin, Texas, and the fact that South by Southwest was coming up, which is all about technology and music, which fitted Bacardi perfectly, so that kind of gave us a place. 
and then we had to kind of work around it to try to figure out what the scale of the idea was. So we kind of had a thought, and then we had a location and a time, and then you know, is it going to be something huge? Are we going to have a massive DJ, you know, DJing these bats live? Are we going to build a platform? Are we going to, you know, or you know, at the other end of the scale, are we going to go really gorilla with it? And are we going to sort of explore what we could do under the radar? Um, and then once we sort of decided on the scale, which was the latter, then we had to explore like how we're, we're actually going to get the thing to happen. So how we do actually track the bats and more research into how the bats actually flock of an evening in, in Austin and what software we're we going to produce and how mobile it was going to be. And, um, and once we kind of got the technology down, then it's how are we going to make this, sort of amplify this, and then it's who are we going to invite, how many nights are we going to run, how much can practice do and rehearsal do we have to have, and, and what we're going to do in all the other channels to, to spread it. So it's a really long, um, I guess, exploratory process, rather than here's the idea, you know, sign off please, we're going to go and make it. And the brilliant thing about that is that you're able to take the client on that journey and they're able to collaborate with you. Um, so, you know, the input into the creative process, and, yeah, so that's how I like to work.